What up party people? It's your girl Mimi Moments and I'm here with a quick get ready with me because I'm going to a casting. I'm not even a model y'all. So I'm starting with my all time favorite ultra lip repair lip therapy from First Aid Beauty. I talk about this in several videos. This is like the best if you have really dry skin, especially in the winter months. It's totally worth the $12. Next, I'm going in with my Too Faced Hangover uh, Repair. It's very moisturizing. I have super duper dry skin and this has been helping me with calming down my skin because my skin started breaking out and I realized it was because my skin was super dry and producing too much oil to try to um, put some moisture back into my skin and it really messed up like my texture so I've been doing the most to moisturize and this definitely has helped me but it doesn't do anything in terms of filling pores in that's why I use my NYX Angel Veil for that let me adjust this a little bit hey uh -huh. so because I want to look smooth out and really good for this casting I'm more so focused on making sure my skin looks really good than making sure that my face looks beat because I'm afraid that they won't cast me if I have too much makeup. Um, the casting call basically called for anyone all shapes and sizes to come on through so we'll see. I don't know what I should wear but I'm going to do my best. So next I'm going in with a little bit of my favorite foundation right now which is the LA Girl Pro foundation you can get this at your local beauty supply for like ten dollars guys like it's lit AF lit AF where's my foundation brush different different so this is how much foundation I'm using on my whole face cuz again I don't want to like I looked up online like information on like model castings and stuff like that and too much makeup is a no is a no-go so this is a truly more of a test of my confidence than anything else because normally I wouldn't go and I'm going by myself and I'm like very scared but like my friends are like just go you never know and I'm like you're right you never know and if I don't get and if I don't get it I don't get it at least I tried and that mentality is like really hard to really accept and live in because it's like I'm a little bit but you know what I didn't think I was gonna get the Yeezy season four casting and I got it, so who knows? But the Yeezy season four casting sent me an email at like 2 a.m. So I didn't open it until like 9 a.m. And I didn't end up being able to be in the show cause you had to be there at seven. But I didn't even think they would select me. Like had I opened the email, I would have been in the show. Next I'm going in with my Sephora Concealer and this is in the shade Dolce de Leche. I really like this. It's called Bright Feature, Feature Gel Serum Concealer. Um, I really like this concealer. I thought I was gonna end up taking it back, but I really like it. I love I like the gel formula and everything. I like to watch makeup tutorials while I'm getting ready, even if I'm not copying. Oh, Kathleen Lights has a new uh, favorites video up, so it's lit. I'm gonna watch that while I do my makeup. Like, thumbs up this video if you watch makeup videos while you're doing your makeup, even if you're not copying the look. I just be letting them play in the background, like, guys, I'm gonna play my concert. You know, Laura Mercier translucent setting powder to set my under eye concealer. Then I'm going in with my beauty supply store contour product that I love and it's only $2. I'll put you guys on later. Next, I'm grabbing my Sephora face powder and I am going to buff away all of this color and make sure that I tone it down. And then I'm going in with my MAC Raisin Blush, which is a holy grail, Marc Jacobs eyeliner. Then I'm going in with a beauty supply store eyeliner product to wing my liner. And I use two different mascaras, one for my top and one for my bottom. I'll link it below. 
And then I sat with the Scandinavia Wedding Spray and I put on my highlighter, which is Anastasia's Beverly Hill Glow Kit. Not trying to do too much. This is a cheapy brown liner from the Beauty Supply Store. Then I just go in with this random right, lipstick so that I got. I'm gonna go do my hair and then I'm gonna take you guys with me to the casting. And I'm terrified, so y'all have to be there to hold my hand, okay? See you in a little bit, okay? I'll be right back. in the street I'm trying this thing I'm here I'm on my way to the casting I'm terrified you guys I'm legit having like anxiety all up and through my body like anxiety like I keep trying to control the waves of anxiety and it's just like <sighs> trying to breathe trying to breathe because I don't like putting myself on the spot but at the same time I do because this is how you grow right trying to be all positive or whatever like I'm trying to be like you know what this is for your growth this is for your personal growth just go it doesn't matter it's an experience trying to just keep reminding myself of instead of like freaking out so I'm on my way to the V files place on Mercer Street I'm in the Soho area why am I so blurry what the heck I'll be right back. But anyway, I had no idea what to wear. I said I wasn't gonna do too much makeup, but you know, I couldn't help it. And yeah, walking through the cobble streets of Le Soho. Look at this classic. Doing my natural hair, I was gonna do a wig, but I decided not to. And I also decided to walk down this less crowded street so that I wouldn't look crazy doing this whole vlog shit. But anyway, I probably still look crazy. Oh, guys, anxiety. I keep chatting and like chewing this gum till my jaw hurts because I'm so freaking nervous. But whatever. We'll get through it, right? We'll get through it. Okay, so I will come back when I'm online. Is this thing on? So I'm on the line. Look at the line. Going like that. And then there's me. And here I am, trying to not have an anxiety attack standing here by myself. We'll see what happens, folks. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm here. I'm sorry. Sorry, the bathroom. Huh? We haven't got a bathroom to use right now. Okay, everyone, bring your clothes to the bathroom. Okay, as fast as possible. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Oh, it's over. Okay, hey, man. Thank you. He's so kind and sweet. He kicked me out so nicely. <laughs> so I did it. I'm done. Fuck this shit. I'm going home. It was really quick. It was not that crazy. I thought I'd be way more scared. But look at all the hipstery people of New York City got. Hipstery, hipstery. There's people still on the line. But it's me. I'm on the go. Look at all the hipster hipsters of New York City. Don't you love it? Everyone looks like they're fresh out of a Tumblr post. It's so cool, I guess. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? Don't you love this city? Anyways, it wasn't that bad. It was actually so rushed. I feel like a really cheap date. Like, just went in there and it was like, take this off. Write your name on this, stand over here, take a picture, get out, bye. And I was like, well, damn, okay, thanks, V Files. That was, that was something. Um, but either way, I'm just, I did it. I'm not honestly expecting much from this, but I'm glad that I forced myself to do something that scared me, and that's what I got out of this. And if I get it, that's what's up. Here's the thing though, living in New York City, everybody is like, I'm a model, I'm a designer, I'm a rapper, I'm a, I'm, I'm a photographer, I'm an artist, I'm a creative. So, it's really hard to stick out. It's really hard to get things done, but I think, you know, I hope that I accomplished that today. 
in that split less than 60 second time frame in which I was there. I hope I did that, but we'll see. Cause only they know what they're looking for. So yeah, this whole like vlogging like this is pretty cool, but like it hurts my arm to like walk with a camera like this. It really hurts my arm, but yeah. I'm trying it out. Look at me. I'm a blogger. You got him. I might stop in Zara for a little bit and see what they got. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna stop in Zara and see if there's anything really good in Zara that I want. So Zara's giving me hella spring vibes right now. And it feels like winter just started in New York. So huh. look at all this pale pink. All right, this is cute. Okay, Zara Knits, let's get it. Okay, I was L-O-T-D, I guess. My Shirley from Misguided. These, the, the sweats from Misguided. This is a thrifted sweatshirt and a random tote just because it fits my laptop and my tops. Good to go. So, this is the makeup that I did. This lighting is terrible, but y'all get the point. I'm just out here chilling. So Zara's having a pretty decent sale or whatever. I just don't have the energy or desire to look. So I'm just gonna haul my ass out of this place. It was nice to look, but I couldn't really fully shop. Like, just, you know, you have those moments where you're just like, ugh, I can't even be bothered with like trying things on or like, touching mad clothes. I just looked at stuff and nothing was jumping out at me. And I was like, why am I about to search to waste my money? I'm gonna just go. So yeah, I just love Zara. I'm dry. I think I like this vlogging thing. I'm like, I am getting a few looks, but it's not anything I can't handle because, hey, look at me, I'm cute anyway, right? <laughs> you know? So I'm in Dean and DeLuca because it's cold outside and one of the things I love about Dean and DeLuca is their soups. So I'm gonna go get me some soup and have that for myself on the train so I can warm up and have something in my belly before the gym. Like I love Dean and DeLuca. Here we go. So I got a small soup. Yes, I'll take it. Thank you. I love Dean and DeLuca. Like come on. I don't come in here for anything else but the soup, but their food does look delicious. It's such a fancy, bougie rest um, supermarket. Of course, I couldn't leave the Soho area without going to Forever 21. I haven't been here in a while, but I don't know. Something's wrong with me. I'm just not in the most shoppingest mood right now. And they do have some decent stuff. I'm kind of just like, I'm so uninspired you know i love your hair you're welcome i'm just so uninspired. yes i am <laughs> uh this is the canon g cell let me stop recording we don't act like you don't know we don't do like that girl come feed me don't be stingy 